So over the weekend, we got the reveal and the announcement of Power Rangers Cosmic Fury, aka Dino Fury Season 3. And although the announcement was made much sooner than it was expected, I'm sure someone got fired for that blunder, I thought I'd make a video about five predictions or kind of like a wish list of what I want to see in Cosmic Fury. And I know that Dino Fury is far from over, but hey, I might as well talk about what I want to see in Cosmic Fury when we get around to it eventually. So this is going to be kind of a laid back video, not much going on on the screen, so you can tab out, do something else, play some video games, put it in your ears like a podcast, and listen to me talk about five things I would like to see in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Now, I've got complete faith in Simon Bennett and his team. I'm sure they're going to knock this out of the park because Dino Fury was done so well. And I can't wait to see where the cast and the crew are going to go with Cosmic Fury. So, number one, one of my wish lists, one of my predictions is Super Sentai vs. Original. Not really a prediction, but the whole debate is uh, Cosmic Fury going to be original or is it going to be a Super Sentai adaption? Uh, no one really knows at this point, and we'll probably get an answer either at Hasbro PulseCon or the Toy Fest or whenever they want to drop it on Twitter. But either way, I don't really care what it is. As long as the writing is good and the action is great, I mean, they filmed a lot of original footage for Dino Fury, so imagine what they can do with all this space stuff. So we never know until it actually starts airing. Alright, number two. More character development for the Rangers. If the Dino Fury cast is returning and Season 2 is wrapping up, I do wonder where the characters' arcs are going to be and going to go at the end of this show. Now, I know that spoilers are out there for some of the characters and stuff like that, and there is a bit of a time skip near the end. I just spoiled that I do apologise. But if there is a time skip at the end of Dino Fury and then it leads into Cosmic Fury then my big question is, how are we going to expand on these characters? How are we going to give them more development as they're having adventures out in space? That's kind of the difficult thing. I do wonder what they're going to try and handle. I'm sure they've got a plan for these characters moving forward, but are we going to hit the reset button on these characters and they'll learn the exact same lessons but differently? So it's kind of concerning, but i am got complete faith in Simon, but I do wonder how we're going to develop these characters even forward, even more moving forward as they have space adventures. So we'll see what happens. All right, number three. This is more of a wish list or a prediction. I'm hoping with Cosmic Fury being the Dino Fury Rangers having space adventures, are we going to run into returning rangers, planets, and aliens? Because... If we're going into space, there's a lot we can see. We can go to Aquatar and maybe see Billy. We can go to KO35 and maybe see Andros and his people. Uh, we can even probably see Doggy Kruger hanging out. Hopefully he lived long enough in dog years. But then again, SBD does take place in 2023. So maybe we'll get an answer to that. Maybe we'll see what's going on there. Um, but yeah, I hope we see some returning characters, planets and aliens. But what I'm going to say is probably going to contradict that with number five, but I'm hoping we see some returning faces, planets and aliens in Dino, and not Cosmic, Dino Cosmic Fury, but don't make it too fan servicey, which is something I'm going, to get, I'm going to get to with number five. So, number four, telling more serialized stories. Now, Dino Fury has had a lot of seriali serialization in it, and a little bit of episodic. So I do hope that we tell more serialized stuff that balances out with the episodic stuff. But seeing how we're on Netflix, I feel like we can tell more of a serialized story. I cannot speak right now. Um, but I really hope we do tell stories like that. Like they're all connected as we have the run on Netflix. And we can have a big story arc for the first half on Netflix. And then on the second half of Netflix, continue that story arc. But We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, number five, don't focus too much on the anniversary. I know that Dino, oh, I keep saying it, it's Dino Fury season three, but I know that Cosmic Fury is going to be the 30th season of Power Rangers, so that's a very, very big deal. But I don't want it to focus too much on being an anniversary season. 
Like, don't shove the anniversary fan f service stuff in our faces, much like Megaforce and stuff like that. Ninja Steel did it alright. I mean, Ninja Steel was okay. And uh, Super Ninja Steel, they didn't shove it too much in our faces. We just had Dimensions and Danger. And that was the big anniversary episode to celebrate 25 years of Power Rangers. But seeing how this is 30 years when Cosmic Fury comes around, I do wonder how they're going to celebrate 30 years of the franchise with this season. I mean, hopefully they don't shove the gimmick in our faces too much, but we'll have to wait and see. But I wait. I'm excited to see how the show will go down and what will happen. But I'm hoping that it doesn't, like, like get our expectations too high with it being an anniversary season and then it's either too much anniversary in your face or not enough anniversary because when it's an anniversary season there's a weird middle ground that it has to take while telling a story and sort of celebrating what the franchise and the series is all about so hopefully they find that hopefully I made sense with what I just said because I feel like I went on a weird co cohesive ramble about that but yeah, those are five things I would love to see in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury moving forward. And I can't wait to watch the show in 2023, and I can't wait to see how Dino Fury is going to end um, soon, because international spoilers are coming, so I'll just say soon. But with that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.